When your new teacher laptop arrives, you'll want the process of handing over your old computer and getting your new computer to be as seamless and easy as possible. But first, you'll want to make sure all those important files on your old computer are backed up somewhere and ready to move over to your new computer. Let's examine for a moment what your new computer will look like and what type of files you'll be able to migrate over. Your new school-issued laptop will be a MacBook Air 13-inch computer with a 128GB solid-state drive and 8GB of RAM. Do you really need to know what those numbers mean? Not really, and yes. What the 8GB of RAM tells you is that this computer will be capable of running applications without slowing you down and will continue to be able to run applications over the next several years even as those programs get more complex and sophisticated. The term solid state drive, when we're talking about your hard drive, simply means that this is different from traditional computer hard drives, which usually incorporated a spinning disk that information was recorded to. A solid state drive has no moving parts, and so your computer's hard drive, where all the files are stored, is less likely to break or make a loud noise. It should also be quicker to save, move, and open files. The number that might most affect you directly is the 128 gigabyte size of the hard drive. This amount of storage space is about half of what was previously on your school-issued laptop. This might seem like a big drop, but keep in mind, many programs or files that used to be stored on the computer itself are now being stored in some type of cloud computing account, such as Google Drive, which we've been using for several years. Another result of having the 128 gigabyte hard drive is that there really won't be room on your computer for your personal photos, videos, music, and so on. The District 73 Tech Department wants to stress that this is a school-issued device and should contain work-related files only. As we look at backing up and moving files from your old computer to your new one, the Tech Department will only be assisting with the backup and migration of work-related files you will be responsible for finding a way to store, backup, or move any personal files. In fact, when backing up any type of files, whether they be for work or personal use, it's a good idea to keep in mind what I call the rule of three. Anyone who works with backing up or securing information will tell you it's a good rule of thumb to have your files stored in at least three different places. One of those could be on the computer itself. One could be in a cloud account, such as Google Drive. Another could be on an external hard drive. The reason for this is to make sure that if one or even two of your backup locations fail, you still have one copy left. If you would like help or suggestions for backing up and storing those personal files, you may contact me, John Reed. I will also be making the rounds to your buildings over the course of the next few weeks during lunch periods or before or after school to answer any questions or to help with backing up your files, whether they be the work files or even if you have any questions about backing up or saving your personal files. I will email those dates out to you soon. Using the links on the screen, you can choose which video you'd like to see next. Do you need help backing up and saving files to Google Drive? Check out the Google Drive backup video. If you're feeling pretty good about Google Drive, but would like to know more about a way to back up and sync your photos across your devices using Google Photos, you can check out that video instead. Again, if you have any questions, you can contact myself, John Reed, or your building tech facilitator.